you're ready to go, you think you know what you're going to talk about, you need to know how to effectively relate to your audience. What's going to work on Bob Rocks is not going to work on Nail 92.1. You have to know who you're talking to to come up with topics and conversations that are effective. So what I would like to do is get into Active Inspire. It's my first time using this and write down the different um, genres that we have at Rosanic Broadcasting. So we have a country station. Can you guys read this? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a rock station, and rock being heavy metal, Metallica, Slipknot, help me out, um, Pantera. Five Finger Death. Okay. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> then we have a top 40 station. Does everybody know the term top 40? Okay. Like billboard kind of stuff? Yes. You're talking about uh, Pitbull, Kesha, Rihanna, mm -hmm. and then we have ESPN Radio. Now we're going to identify our listeners. So let's start with ESPN Radio. When you think of somebody who listens to ESPN Radio, what are some characteristics that come to mind? Anything. Men, women, how much money they're making, do they have kids, anything. What are some things that come to mind? Men. Absolutely. Absolutely men. What else? Not aggressive, but high energy. Okay. Man on the run. Would you say, Tom? Man on the run. <laughs> Middle class? Yes, yes, beautiful, absolutely. Middle class. If someone did say that, I was going to write it up there. Middle class. What do you think they're doing on the weekends? That's what my husband does. Do you think they have families? Do you think they have families? Do you think they listen to sports? Children? Yeah, they're yes. Easy. Yes. <laughs> For uh, parents, and that's good right here. This gives you a very brief overview of who you're talking to. Let's move on to top 40. Sarah, someone who listens to top 40. I know you like the station. So give me, what do you think of when you think of someone who listens to top 40? Men, women, age, what do you think of? Yes, yes, beautiful. You're dealing with college students a lot of the times. Men or women? What do you think? What do you think? Women, absolutely. What are they into? College women, what are they into? Like, I know, uh... Boys and... Sure. Looking good. Yes! Yes. <laughs> yep. What were you going to say, Chris? Um, like, one station I, I, I listen to that does that stuff does, like, celebrity gossip. Oh! And party, so. Man, when I was practicing this, I was hoping you guys were going to say all of these. So, yes. <laughs> Excellent job. Celebrities. Anything else? That's, that's good right now. Yes, this is a good overview of who you're talking to. Rock. Men or women? Men. men. Yes, absolutely. You are talking to men. What transportation do they enjoy? Riding. Motorcycles. Yes, motorcycles. <laughs> what else? Opera. Okay. What about their bodies? Yes. I asked my husband. <laughs> what are they doing on the weekends? Drinking. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Drinking. That's good. All right, country music. Someone who listens to country. What do you think of? Mm. Willie Nelson. Okay. Girls and that cute baby. Okay. Listening to some cute guy in tat jeans. What are those guys riding around in? They're riding yeah, around the on a horse Rocks. with their shirts off. <laughs> um, do they have families? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got a lot of them. I, there's one I was wondering if you guys were going to say. For the country? Country people. What's that word that you associate with country people? Rednecks. Rednecks, absolutely. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, because I worked on a country station for many years, people who listen to country music primarily in this area, they're into three things. USA, God, and the family. That's who you are talking to. And it's so important to keep this in mind, because what I would put on WAYZ, I wouldn't maybe necessarily put on another station. Sometimes we'll find these great stories that are so amazing, we know we're going to get a great response, but they're too, it's pushing the envelope too much. So I'll run it down the hall and say, hey guys, you might want to hit this, this is really great. So we don't have to go over this fully, but people ask me a lot, how do you get this information? And this is an IQP report for WAYZ, and this is the breakdown of who is listening to us. So you can see, it's almost an even split of men and women, but you can see the ages, how much they're making, how much education they have. You can find out so much 
about who you're talking to. And it is imperative to know that information when you were putting your messages together because you want it to be as effective as possible. So next I have four stories. I'm going to tell you the titles of these stories and I want you to tell me on what station you think it would best fit. Here's a story about Kim Kardashian who's an offender vendor. Everybody's okay. Top 40, absolutely. LeBron James going back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes, good job. Uh, here's a story about a guy who was arrested for uh, shipping 12 pounds of marijuana to his wow. real estate. Absolutely, good job. And then, yeah, this is this is a really good tip. If I still was on the, the radio, I would talk about this. There's been this growing problem where parents are putting their kids in the back seat and forgetting that they're in the back seat. And the kids are dying from heat stroke. So this would be, there's only one station left. Where would this be most effective? Country. Country. Absolutely. Good job. And this is actually a really great story. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, this story about the kids in the back seat. This is a wonderful story. And this would be something that would be really beneficial on the air. But look how long this is. You do not have enough time to read this top to bottom. You just don't. But there's so much great information in here. So what I would like for you guys to do is just pair up. If you guys would just get together and you guys would get together. I'm going to give you guys here this story. And then Sarah and Tom, I'm going to give you this story about LeBron James. I want you to take three minutes and I want you to pick out six or seven sentences that you think get the main point across. And then we're going to have somebody read it out loud and time it and see how close we can get to 30 to 45 seconds. So just six or seven sentences where you think gets across the main points, the who, what, where, when, and why. Wrap up with what you guys have here. Would somebody want to read the key points that you pointed out? Did you say yes, Raylan? No, she, that's a key Oh. Chris, do you want to read those points? Oh, oh. <laughs> They're way out of order. That's we, fine. We, we thought it was a good tagline to, to start with um, the quote, there's no way I ever forget my kid. Okay. Uh, Perfect. That, and then follow up with the statistic of nearly mm -hmm. one in four parents of a child under three was forgotten their child in the car. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we kind of started bouncing around because we wanted to start dropping stats, but there were so many different stories. We were wishing, I, I was wishing that there was a way we could combine them mm -hmm. somehow, like, you know, total up the number of kids or something. But That was a tough story. And what I would do, if I were going to present this on the air, because I think this is all really great material, I probably would have started by getting the attention and saying, parents, are you one of those parents who says, I would never leave my children in the back seat? Immediately you have people's attention. And then you would work into, well, a statistic says, and then whatever the statistic says, and then go into the trick about the left shoe. Put your left mm -hmm. shoe in the back seat. And that is a great way to compose a break. You're in and out in less than a minute. And it's really, really good information. Tom, do you want to read, or Sarah, what you guys got over here? You don't have to. I mean, sure. I just wanted to give it one example. Of course, we had LeBron going home, back to a to be a bug guy. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I want to say we, we were, LeBron James uh, announced that he's going back to the home state of Ohio and rejoined the kids. Mm -hmm. The NBA superstar wrote in a piece for Sports Illustrated that he's going home. LeBron commented that I always believed that I had returned to Cleveland to finish my career there. I just didn't know when. And an NBA source told ESPN that the Cavaliers sold $1 million in ticket sales on Wednesday just because of pure speculation of James' decision. You I paraphrase that in right read it. Exactly. Is that all of them? You were, you were at 28 seconds. That would be a beautiful read. Put a little station identification at the beginning, a little station ID at the end, and you're good to go, and you just compose a really great break. So just to wrap things up, we've talked about the different departments that makes up a radio station, how to get warmed up. Hopefully you guys go home and you need New York aluminum linoleum every morning to get yourself all warmed up for the day. Brief and concise, and how to relate to your audience. Does anybody have any questions? Anything you've been really wanting to know about radio? Yes! Do you ever have any stoppers? Uh, I haven't, but our afternoon guy does, yes. And he had to take it to HR, and yeah, he did. It was really scary.